Hi everybody, it's Honest John. Now, just about all of the presidents before Trump did not say anything about criminal cases in the courts, either federal or state. Uh, I remember back when Richard Nixon was president, he said something about the Charlie Manson case in California and he received an avalanche of criticism for it and the prosecutors here in California were worried that it might cause a mistrial but and there's always been this clear line between the Justice Department and the presidency until Trump got in office Now Trump's good buddy Roger Stone is about to be sentenced after being found guilty of crimes which he committed for Donald Trump. So Trump sent out a tweet about the case calling it an injustice. Usually the Department of Justice is pretty much independent of the president but that has obviously not been the case since Bob Barr got there. Barr has uh, turned the Justice Department, or, or at least is trying to turn the Justice Department into another criminal enterprise for Trump. At Trump's direction, Barr has investigated Hillary Clinton once again, and they found nothing. He investigated the people who investigated Trump's treason. They closed that investigation very quickly, because instead of finding evidence that the investigators did anything wrong, they were starting to find evidence against Trump. So they had to shut that thing down in a hurry. <clears throat> so when Trump sent out his tweet, Barr got involved in the Roger Stone case, going against his own prosecutor's sentencing re re recommendation for Stone. The four prosecutors who were, who were assigned to that case then resigned from the case in protest. So now it's up to the judge what sentence will be uh, levied on uh, Roger Stone. I hope she chooses the longest sentence possible. That would send a clear message to Barr and to Trump. Stone will do some time in prison and become another person who will go to prison for crimes that he has committed on behalf of Trump. And there are a lot of people in that situation. Stone, Paul Manafort, Mike Flynn, Michael Cohen, and several others. And if Trump loses the next election, he's going to wind up joining them. Now that Trump has been acquitted by the Republicans in the impeachment trial, Trump knows he can do anything he wants and they'll let him get away with it. So we can expect more obviously corrupt and criminal and even treasonous behavior from him. Trump is extremely arrogant, but he's also not very smart. And he's not smart enough to keep his crimes hidden. So if Trump loses in November, he will end up dying in prison. Thanks for listening. Well, I want to thank you all for watching my videos. But there are certain changes that Google has made to YouTube, which since I'm a smaller channel, means that I can't monetize my videos. So I found places where I can. So instead of watching my videos here on YouTube, I'd appreciate it if you go either to Patreon or to uh, Top Buzz. Uh, they, they let me monetize videos and I don't even have to put commercials on. So, 
If you want to become a patron on Patreon, that's fine. If you don't, you can still watch the videos there. I've just kind of given up on YouTube. YouTube is just a place that I use so that I can put my videos in other places. So, Patreon, Top Buzz, the links are in the description box. Thanks a lot.